Sorry, I'm losing the thread. Yeah, we are. Most influential game of 2015. Now, honestly, my the, ruining like, the twist. I, I didn't even play this one, but I know that Fallout 4 is probably the yep. most influential game. Because yep. that's the only game that I heard people going on lockdown. <laughs> they like, get the donuts within reach. Call out <laughs> sick. <laughs> Just take the Sierra Mist right into my veins. <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> bring I definitely back had, Surge. I definitely had many, many people. Yeah, and this, this was happening a lot this year. I had many, many people who actively said i'm not gonna watch you play this because i can not have any of this ruined for me oh like, with fallout I can, yeah with fallout oh, like I'm, yeah yeah like the, yeah. the the cultural influence is staggering when it comes to this game just how Hi, many scientist. people how many people wanted to be involved with this with the with the reveal of this game so, yes yes because so. i definitely i'm gonna back up floors with fallout 4 because yes there was so much about the game that the whole addition to the app i said and mentioned it before having that kind of menu outside of the game kind of like it helped and it was kind of cool even though way too expensive to get the actual pit boy for your arm and to have <laughs> that out very cumbersome but yeah. cool idea influential for the fact that it was another peripheral that you could have to enhance your experience in the game and minus the dialogue that's the only thing about fallout 4 that's not in influential indefensible indefensible <laughs> indivisible with liberty and justice for all uh yeah i'll go i'll yeah, okay um i'll my, bring up the rear on this one my runner-up is gonna be rocket league i think you're gonna see more people try to capitalize off this gonzo combination of sports now <laughs> See how Rocket League has made fifty million dollars. Yes, true, that's right? actually what they've made on it. Oh. Um, but it's not my winner but though. Wouldn't my wouldn't count as a hit. <laughs> 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 to be a hit, they just gotta barely cover their mark, their operating budget. <laughs> <That's laughs> so everybody, we'll see you next year. It's been a fantastic They gave show. the game away for Fucking free. Pull it, pull that the power cord. End the show. But that's End not. But that's show. not my winner though. Uh, <laughs> my winner is a game that hasn't come up yet, and uh, Splatoon. <laughs> I think you're going to see Splatoon has sold almost 4 million copies now. And I think you're going to see companies like Ubisoft, EA. I think they're going to look at what Nintendo did, which is make a kid friendly, family friendly, you know, shooter. And I think they're going to follow suit. And I think you're going to see some more of these sort of cartoony, kid friendly ability, you know, attempts to rope in the whole family. Wait, for, I kind of like that. Like, easy Splatoon. to pick up. Oh, Splatoon. God damn it. I, that was another game that, I, you know. Especially, and I spent all week listening to the Giant Bomb guys because they're like the only people I listen to when it comes to the, the deliberations. Besides our show, after we record it, which you should all check out when we post it on YouTube and uh, SoundCloud. Sorry, had to do that. Plug. I apologize. Please don't leave. Um, no, but it's uh, Splatoon was one of those games that just, there was... I remember seeing that Boris. You remember seeing that uh, kiosk at E3 two years uh, uh, two years yep. ago, and just being like, "What in the hell is Nintendo doing?" And then that game comes out, and the best thing I've heard about that game is that it was like it's a Dreamcast game that never got made, Ooh. and that's actually like a good thing. Like it's from a completely different era of video game creation. Like, well, I mean, there was always a concept that the Japanese didn't like. Uh, FPSs and shooters like that. So oh, sure. I wasn't sure if well, Nintendo they're... was attempting to like do a shooter for an American audience, or if they found a hook that was going to be interesting for Japanese audiences. Well, well, is it is it developed by who's Splatoon developed Nintendo. by? It is Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Like yep. that's pretty impressive, especially coming from it's a country that doesn't make it. It's like almost impossible to get a gun in that country. Yeah. Like that's just a a cultural thing that guns are really hard to come by in that. Yeah. But a paint gun is. I don't know what paint guns are like. I don't. Know, I don't know how paintball is in that country. I know paintball is as American as apple pie. That I do know. Taking the paint to the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Who's up, Boris? I think it's me. I think I'm the last one on this category. Oh, Boris. Yep. All right, you went Fallout. Boris just went, didn't he? No, he went Fallout. I said backed up Fallout, and then. Sean went Splatoon. So it is. Oh, yeah. So it is me anyway. We're all losing our mind. <laughs> oh, just wait till we get to the dubious awards. Oh, my good Lord. 
Uh, so we'll finish this category, then we'll take a quick break, and we'll come back with the dubious awards. Uh, really quick, I have most influential game of the year. I think Metal Gear Solid is definitely on this list for me, because, mm. good lord, um, that game could have been... <laughs> it could have been Solid Snake's Heidi Box with a big steaming pile in the middle of it, mm. and that fan base would have still flipped their shit for it. Yeah, And I think... The fact that it came out and it did what it did, whether or not you like it or not, I have my own axe to grind with that game. It was definitely received as one of the most, like, you know, considering that that is the end, full stop, of what we're ever going to get with Metal Gear, probably for a very Turn long time. Long time, yeah. I think it, it, it had a huge uh, amount of hype to live up to which we'll also get to later. And it actually did a good job of, you know, keeping people, maybe not satisfying everybody, but doing a good enough job at giving people something they weren't expecting and having them really fucking like it. Um, Until Dawn can't be missed on this list for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, Her story, influential, but for the right reasons and for the wrong reasons. I don't necessarily feel like more people, more games should try to do what that game did. That game did it well. Stop. No more of that. Don't do that <laughs> anymore. Uh, and I think Soma, yes, it's a hit. No, it's not. Okay. I stand corrected on that. I thought they were doing better on that than they ended up doing. And I even researched that shit because I know anything that I say can and will be used against me in this court of fucking knuckleheads. Um... But yeah, Soma I think has to be on this list because it's just you know coming trying to one up your own game, and some might say that they didn't actually one up Amnesia. Oh no, they did. I think they really did. They four upped it. I they, yes, I really I agree with you fully, my good man. Um, but I think Ori takes it because again, mm. making a game under the climate of of how games get made today in this world. And having, you know, developers, writers, programmers, you know, artists, m- musicians, composers working on different ends of the globe and trying to make something that even resembles a coherent game. Is like doing that all in the same room is hard enough, but to do that on opposite sides of the planet. Maybe that helped. <laughs> Well, at least you only have to talk with each other at the best of times. You don't, yeah. have, to deal, you don't have to deal each other when you want to pull each other's fucking skulls yeah, off. I think we true. should roll right into Dubious. Let's just keep it moving. You want to keep moving? Yeah, Actually, let's, let's just keep, keep going. Moving. Okay. Well, um, can we take can we take thirty seconds because I do need to use the restroom. So yeah. why don't you? Go? You go. You go use the restroom. Well, me and Kevin will sit here. No, this is the part that's my favorite part of the show. Okay, fine. Right, I want to be here for this. No, we're just yeah. gonna talk to Boris. All right. We're, n- we're not going to take a huge Hi. break, but we're going to take a quick 30 second break so I can use the restroom. And then we'll come back for my favorite part of the show, yeah. your favorite part of the show, the part where we really lay into some fucking terrible games that came out this year, and some that may not even be that terrible. Some that may actually be good, but for one reason or another, just were really fucking disappointing in ways that you can't even possibly imagine. It's the dubious awards here on the Crash Travaganza. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more right after this. 